Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is where you get to learn about computer science and programming. If this is first time you are visiting my channel, make sure to hit that red subscribe button and click on bell icon to receive notifications whenever I publish new content. Before we talk about Python further, I want to talk to you about interpreted and compiled languages. If you have ever worked with languages like C++ or Java, then you may know that before you execute the code, you have to compile the code. When you compile the code, it goes through complete file of code and then converts it into binary executable file. In Java, you can do so using Java C and then the file name, let's say hello world.java. When you run that command, it creates executable file that you can run using Java Hello World. All these languages, C, C++, C Sharp, Java, Python, these are all high level languages. Computers don't understand these commands like print or exit functions. It only understands binary code, which are ones and zeros. To convert our Java or Python code into binary code, it uses intermediate byte code. So in Java language, Java code gets converted into JVM byte code, which is platform independent, means you can run the same code across different operating systems like Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. That byte code is converted into binary code using Java Virtual Machine or JVM. Compiled languages tend to be faster as it's already converted into executable binary format. They also tend to have less bugs because most of the language syntax has already been checked while compiling the source code. Source code is just a file with a bunch of instructions for specific language. Interpreter languages, on the other hand, are executed one line at a time. It reads first line, then it executes that line, and then only it moves to the second line and repeats the same process for each line in the source code file. Now when it comes to Python, Python is both compiled and interpreted language. Python source code is converted into bytecode by Python compiler. This code is then interpreted by Python virtual machine into binary code which computers can understand. But the beauty of Python is that you don't have to worry about compiling your source code explicitly. Python Virtual Machine takes care of this. Usually with compiled languages, interactive cell is missing. That's also called REPL or Read Evaluate Print Loop. Python includes REPL, but even in REPL, when you run any command that first gets converted into bytecode and then subsequently into the binary code. It is because of this REPL and the lack of explicit compile step, most of the people call Python as interpreter language. That's all I wanted to share in this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video was informative for you. If you have any questions or comments, post it in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video.